with you so I wanted to take the time to make a video so that you could create some art at home. It's that time of the year our chicken eggs are hatching and I thought it would be great to make a hatching chick today. We're going to make a collage. We're going to cut and glue to make our egg and then we're going to rip to make it look like our chick is hatching. Our chicks should be hatching soon. Um, the due date is Monday, but sometimes they go earlier or later. There is going to be a live stream for the hatch. Um, I will email that link to everyone when the hatch begins. It could take a long time hours and even an entire day um, and that recording will be on YouTube if you miss the hatch. The link is tinyurl.com slash Davis YouTube and that link will be on Skyward and in an email for all of you. Uh, so I thought since I have some eggs hatching at my house we should let you hatch one too. To make this project, what you need is paper, scissors, and glue. Um, if you don't have colorful paper, you can use the backs of some of your old worksheets from your classroom teachers. I just colored on the back um, and I cut and I glued. If you don't have white paper, you might want to use brown paper bags. That would be a great shell or maybe even a paper plate. Um, so let's get started with this. So this is our incubator. The incubator acts as our mother hen. It keeps the eggs warm at 100 degrees and it keeps them a little bit wet. It's humid in there. To add to the humidity, I put some water in the bottom of the tray. Right now I took out the automatic egg turner and they're laying there so I'm hand turning them. Tomorrow we will stop hand turning them and we'll enter what's called lockdown and that's when I do not open up the incubator and I will not be turning the eggs. This gives the chickens inside of the egg time to turn their bodies and get ready to come out and hatch. You can see our eggs have different colors. We don't have any white eggs in here and that's definitely a good color for an egg if you were making egg art. And instead we have some blues and some browns. Some are darker tans and lighter tans. There's all different shades of our eggs. So now that we saw the different colors of our eggs, let's get ready to make our art project. Okay, so the materials you need for your craft is paper, some glue, and some scissors. And what you're going to do first is you're going to take yellow paper and you're going to draw an oval. We're not drawing a chick body the way that we would with all the details because this chick is just peeking out of the egg. So we're not gonna see all of those details. To draw my oval, I did a rainbow and then a letter U on the bottom to make an oval. And I'm going to cut that out. And I want to make sure I do this kind of big. You want it bigger than your fist. You don't want teeny tiny little chicks. You want to fill up your space. And I'm going to put glue around the perimeter and a squiggle in the middle for this one. And I'm going to attach it to my background. This background I use blue paper, but in my teacher example, I took regular paper and I colored a rainbow. You might even wanna add some details to your paper like polka dots or put it out in a nest in a farm. And then you're going to do the beak. You can draw the beak directly on here. I thought it would be fun to kind of color and make my own paper. This is how I did the first one. I took all of those white papers, the leftover papers that my teacher sent home with me from my worksheets, and I just colored the back. So after you do that, you're going to flip it over. You're gonna draw a letter V and a line across. And then you're going to cut this out. 
you want to make sure you have a letter V because that's what chickens have. Chickens, their beaks are pointy. And this is especially important for the baby chicks that are inside the egg. Uh, so when they're first hatching, they have an egg tooth on the point of their beak right here, an egg tooth. And that sharp point is what they use to make the first peck coming out of the egg. The first hole is called a pip. And then from the time that they pip, they keep pecking and breaking the shell to unzipper the egg and they push it out themselves out and they hatch. And we're going to be live streaming our hatch. Um, live streaming is available on tinyurl.com slash Davis YouTube. So I added my eyes and I added some eyebrows because this is a curious chick. I didn't add a mouth because that beak is part of the mouth, okay? So the beak is the mouth. And then we're going to add a shell. We saw that our shells are green and shades of tan. I'm going to use a white shell. I also thought a good shell might be a paper plate. If you didn't have something round, a paper plate would be a good shell. Or maybe for the tan, a paper bag. You wanna make sure that your shell is larger than the chip. We wanna make sure we cover that all the way up. So this is just one of those papers I'm reusing. And I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to put it on its side and I'm going to draw a rainbow from the top. One side to the other, so that's very big. Now let me just test, oh yeah, that's much bigger than my chick. And then I'm going to cut this out. And I fold it and I'm cutting. When I open this up, be the same on both sides. You can make an oval however you choose, but that's a quick way to make sure it's the same on both sides. And I'm gonna turn it over, and I'm going around the outside of the shell, the perimeter, and this time, I'm not doing a squiggle in the middle. I'm just going around the outside. I'm gonna keep this inside with no glue so we can have a good hatch. I'm gonna put that over, cover up my chicken, rub it, give it a little massage, make sure it glues down nice. If you're using Elmer School Glue, you might want to wait and make sure that this dries completely before you do the next step. Uh, the glue stick is pretty quick drying, so we're ready to move on. And the next step is to have your egg hatch. So what you need to do is you're going to take your scissors or something pointy, and this is going to be your egg tooth, and you're going to make a little pip you're going to just push into that paper, and actually reusing your paper is good for this because it's thinner. And you're going to then start to rip away and hatch your chick. And you don't want to pull too much away. You want to make sure that you still have that chick inside the egg with some egg around it. You don't want it all the way out. So first, that's unzippering, and then the chick would keep pecking and pushing. And I'm trying to rip this in a zigzag, so I'm pushing up and down and pulling. And holding so it doesn't go too far and rip the eggshell. And I'd say, that's about it. Now, just like I do, you have a chick hatching at your house. Um, remember, if you make this project, or if you make anything, a drawing, um, a sculpture, if you wanna send me a picture, you can send it uh, to our Padlet. It's P-A-D-L-E-T dot com slash Ariana Davis slash K1. Um, that's also available on Skyward uh, for that link. Okay, well thanks for creating and I'll have another project next week. See ya!